I think the most thing I've enjoyed is actually coming to college and just working with my good teachers and good workmates. If, if, anytime you come here, you learn something new. So it's a really good college to come to. It's an absolute pleasure to be on the course. It's so different to anything else that I've already done. And to me, it adds a lot of value in terms of skill, in terms of what I can bring to the actual construction industry, and in terms of the future. We cover the main trades, the main industry trades, such as carpentry and joinery, uh, the brickwork. Um, I recently um, launched a plumbing course that's been very successful, and the painting and decorating courses at the moment. They run from what we call Diploma Level 1, right through to Diploma Level 3 in construction. I want to go into some form of uh, construction, and I think that I really, uh, I'm going to go into bricklaying, I really enjoy it. I wanted to do GCSE construction type thing, but they don't offer it in my school, so they suggested maybe I want to come to college, because they know that I want to be in construction. I go to school Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I come to college Thursday, Friday, and that's going really well. The school has given me lots of encouragement, and so is the college, with any extra work I need to do for GCSEs that I'm doing this year. Uh, my parents really uh, like that I've uh, chosen my career path and I'm actually going to college and doing, that, doing what I want to do. I like the trade, I like how bricklaying is actually done. I think there's a lot of skill in bricklaying that people don't actually understand and people just think bricklaying is just brick on brick on brick and it isn't. You do need a lot of skill for bricklaying and I think if you're actually committed it, it's a very good trade to go into. Right from the start, the very first day, you're out on site, literally laying the bricks, being shown how to do it. We're in your proper equipment um, in terms of your high vis and PPP. Um, just obviously wearing those and doing the job correctly. So in terms of expectations, it, it's just far exceeded my expectations. The facilities we've got here are second to none. We've got lots of space here for our students to develop their skills either in brickwork and painting and plumbing and also in carpentry and joinery. So lots of space here and excellent facilities that are well uh, resourced and well established. Uh, we can teach them the basics of plumbing, uh, plumbing in the kitchen, plumbing in the bathroom, putting in um, a various central heating systems. With, they work with plastic, copper and low carbon steel, which is known as mild steel. Um, uh, that tends to be used in industrial places, so they can do light, industrial and domestic work. Uh, that's the type of setup we've got mimicked here. Well, currently, what we try and do with the multi skills, um, just try and give them an avenue in different um, vocations in constructions, um, brickland, carpentry, painting, decorating. Um, we started doing plumbing this year. We do plumbing, um, rendering. So we just try and give the, 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 the whole objective of the, the course is to try and give them an insight into different trades. So it's, it's more aimed at 16 year olds straight out of school or 14 to 16 year olds. So they'll come, they'll do a year, maybe two years, um, an award first year, um, a certificate the following year, and they'll do that for the two years. At the end of the, the two years, they'll decide which trade or vocation they want to specialise in. Uh, so we've got our electrical industries going on there. Uh, state of the art base. We've recently spent uh, nearly £100,000 uh, on our, our facilities here at the, at the Southgate site. Brand new base for all our electricians to work on. Well, we're training installation electricians to go into the industry. People are going to end up rewiring your house or going to building sites and doing commercial wiring on building sites and so on and so forth. They can branch off into things like uh, perhaps. Um, being a fault-finding engineer, um, a telephone engineer, a, a maintenance engineer, fire alarm engineer eventually, or they could further their uh, education and go into design, electrical design. From level two I want to go to level three and hopefully in level three I'm working like an apprenticeship and then from there take, take it to university and study more in depth, mainly domestic to start with and then from there go into engineering at National Rail and from there be supervising people. We enter at level one, we go up to level two 
from level two, if you're successful, when you're successful, you go up to level three, and then from level three, it's into employment. If they're lucky enough to find a job during their course, then we will help them uh, finish the course along with keeping the job. The job is paramount and that is our end goal, to get them work uh, so they can be working in the industry um, either at the end of the year or during the year. At, a, at college we will always bend over backwards to make sure that they fulfil the certificate and get a job at the same time. I decided to do the Brick Lane course just to keep up with my knowledge and from there just to expand that and now I've decided to set up a business within the construction entity and to see where that takes me. If you've got a student who, who comes in and he takes pride in his work and he's honest um, and th th there's no reason for them not to go straight into work and that's what we try and aim up for for all the bricklaying, carpentry, paint and decorating that we'll all give the students the, the required knowledge for um, dwellings um, and commercial work as well, so at least when they can go out on site, you know, and that's, I think that's the, the advantage that we've got at the college, I suppose, that all the lectures that we've got have been on site before. Ultimately, you know, um, it's not just about feeding London, but it's about feeding the, the, their own their own worth, the, uh, the, the students' own value, and really about putting money in their pocket and, and attaining the skills for life, and, and construction can do that, and a lot of transferable skills, either employability, either in enterprise, uh, owning your own business, and, and really that, that opportunity to succeed in, in you know, a, a multi-billion pound industry such as construction. Uh, everyone's friendly, everyone helps each other out if they ever need any help. So you can always help another person. There's no shyness between pupils or teachers. I enjoyed it being here. I don't think I would have enjoyed another college because the people who are here and the people you speak to, is, it is like once in a lifetime in a way. You come to college, you enjoy it and that's how you get far in life. I've improved a lot since I started level one, um, level one bricklaying. I did multi-skills before at Southgate, which involves bricklaying, painting and decorating, carpentry, all them kind of ones. And um, I chose bricklaying from that, and I'm glad I got John as a teacher. My parents are very supportive about this course. They said that it's a very good course to go into. And my dad works in the construction industry, and said this is a very good part of the construction industry. Uh, the learners that we have here can articulate to supervisory courses, to management courses, and really take the, 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 the stepping stone into, into degree in building or into degrees in engineering. We want these students to succeed.